Ang next topic natin, yung confidence in prayer, yung commitment. The prayer of commitment. No? Be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds through Jesus Christ. So dito, the Bible, you know, talks and, you know, is saying, it's a command. Again, be not anxious. Diba? Yung anxiousness, ang ibig sabihin nyo, we don't worry. You know, wag kang mabahala. Wag kang mabalisa. Wag kang mag-alala. Diba? Pero sabi niya nito, in everything, by prayer and supplication, by thanksgiving. Yun yung sinasabi ni Pastor kanina rin eh. Yung how often do we pray? Can we keep on praying? Diba? Kasi minsan nga, yun na nga yung sinabi ko, minsan, yung prayer mo is already out of worry. Na baka hindi gumaling, baka mamatay. Diba? Baka maaksidente. Baka, 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 baka. Diba? So that is yung worrying. You are worrying. You are anxious. Anxious ka. Nababahala ka. Pero, sige na ko nagsabi, oh. Beautiful. Powerful. Be anxious for... Ano ibig sabihin ng nothing? Nothing. Nothing is nothing. No thing. No thing. So, huwag kang mabahala with anything. Kaya sabi niya, pero, in everything, anong gagawin? Prayer. Supplication yung hihingi ka. Kung uh, wala kay God or what. Pero, meron kong kasamang thanksgiving. So, kaya pa sa salamat. Kaya kung alam natin na inaatake ng sakit, pati ikaw nababahala na kasi natatakot ka kasi baka lalo na kung ang anak ang pag-uusapan ang mga nanay laging nandun eh di ba? so nababahala ka doon papasok yung ating faith kasi the devil will always put fear so si God ang sinabi niya God has not given us any spirit of fear but power, love, and sound mind. Si God, binigyan tayo ng sound mind para hindi tayo matakot. Ang sound mind natin is with the Word of God. Okay? Kaya ang sabi niya dito, di ba? By prayer supplication with thanksgiving. Ano yung problema mo? Sabihin mo yung request mo. Let your request be made known to God. Sinabi mo na. Sinabi mo na. Na best ka nang nag-pray. Sinabi mo na yung problema. Sinabi na natin yung sa asawa, sa anak, sa mga pinagpe-pray natin, lahat and everything. Gusto ko yung sumunod eh, sa verse 7. Let your request be made known to God and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding. Grabe oh, which surpasses. Hindi mo mauunawaan. Sa mga sasagot ba? Saan nang gagaling yung sagot? Lahat. Pero yung kapayapaan niya in the peace of God surpasses all understanding. Nangingibabaw sa lahat ng kaunawaan mo. Paano ba yung problema mo? Ano ba yung kinababahalaan mo? Ano ba yung lahat? Basta mag-pray ka lang. Yung peace. And then, pag sinabi mo kay God, and then, and then, peace of God surpasses all that. Anong gagawin? Guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. So, ang antidote sa lahat ng problema, that is what the prayer of commitment is. You commit everything to God. You commit. Lord, I'm committing this problem to you. So, I will not worry. Kaya, susunod dito, nakuha na lang ako, I cast all my cares to you. And that is commitment. You are committing. That's the prayer of commitment. So, do not worry. Ito yung sabi. Mark 4, 18-20. Now, these are the ones sown among thorns. They are the ones who hear the word and the cares of this world. The deceitfulness of riches and the desire for other things entering in the word and it becomes unfruitful. I, and the things entering in choke 
choke the word and it becomes unfruitful. Ano yung nangyayari sa worry? Worry chokes the word, you plant, and then it stops, it's produced. Kaya nga yung sinasabi ko, di ba, yung paulit-ulit na prayer, saan ka nang gagaling? Sa takot ba? Sa worry ba? Says sir, that when we pray, you know, we, we felt the heart of God. When we pray, uh, ano, I am identifying with the heart of the Father for the people. Kaya pag nanalangin ako, alam ko, heartfelt prayer yung akin. So when I give that worry to God, the things that I am worrying about the family, about my finances, or about my friends, or about the church, I give it to God. So kaya pagbigay kong ganon, and then totoo yun, and the peace of God that surpasses all understanding guards my heart. Kasi after that, parang, ah, kaya misan, parang hindi na ba alala Lord? Bakit ganun, hindi ako nag-aalala? Sabi sa akin ni Pastor, ni Sister Sita, si Pastor Sita, ayaw mo na, hindi ka nag-aalala. Eh kasi nagtataka ko, hindi ako nag-aalala, parang wala akong pakailang. <laughs> Sabi niya, papira, ayaw mo yun. That is what we call rest. And that is so good as an intercessor, you're resting in God. Kasi parang feeling ko, bakit doon? Parang akong walang pakailang. Nag-pray ka ba? Oo. Uyak pa nga ako eh. Huwag kong mahala ko. Eh, tapos na. Sabi ni Sister Sita. Kasi sabi ko, bakit gano'n Sister Sita? Parang wala akong pakailang. Gano'n. Because yung peace ko, yung heart ko, may peace. Because after you pray, ang sabi ng Bible, di ba? And then, you know, the peace and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your heart. So it means to say, you peace ni God guarded your heart ko na I don't worry anymore. I don't fear. Why? Because I have committed the thing to the Lord. Did you get it? Yeah. So, worry chokes the word you plant and it stops its produce. No matter how much word you plant. Okay? Kanina, pinag-uusapan natin yung power ng word. Okay? Kahit na napakaraming word ang nilagay mo sa puso mo, worry will hinder the word from taking effect in your life. Worry paralyzes. Because worry is fear. Alam mo yung worry? You don't trust God. Right? When you worry, you're not trusting God. When you worry, you're trusting yourself na ikaw yung mga Alright? Kasi if you trust God, mag-uuri. So, Romans 1.16 For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God to salvation to everyone who believes. So the word is the power of God. Alright? The word is the power of God. But it is power only to those who believe. Kasi ito eh, for hindi ako, di ba? For it is the power of God to salvation for everyone who believes. So if you believe, you have the power. You don't believe and you worry, no power. Brown out. Okay? So, correct? Worry is a form of unbelief that can take you out of the place where the power is available to you through faith. So when you worry, you are out of place. Kasi, yung, ano mo, flesh mo, yung pinanginibago mo. Okay, worry is unproductive. Luke 12, 22. 25 to 22. Then he said to his disciple, Therefore I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you eat, nor about the body, what you will put on. Life is more than food, and the body is more than clothing. Consider the ravens, for they neither sow nor reap, which have neither a storehouse nor burn, and God feeds them. Oh, how much more value are you than the birds? And which of you, by worrying, can add one cupid to his stature? So, tignan mo yung sinabi ni God, and which of you? Sabi niya ganyan, by worrying, kaya mo bang magpataas sa sarili mo? Hindi ba? Ito yung sinasabi. So, wag kang mag-worry. Ang worry daw is like a rocking chair. It keeps you busy but you are not going anywhere. A rocking chair. Ano nga nang gano'n? Hindi ba kumikilos? Nandun ka lang. Di ba? 
Hindi niya worry. Pag nag-worry ka doon sa situation mo, worry ka na worry. Doon ka lang. Doon ka lang. O pabalik-balik, pabalik-balik, walang nararating. Dahil alala ka ng alala. Right? Lahat tayo dito, eh, ano, nangungusap. So let's catch this, okay? So, humility cast cares on God. It is pride to think you are able to handle everything. Okay? Through humility is believing and doing what God says. It is recognizing that as you do your part, what is your part? Trusting and believing in Him. Then He does His part too. What is the part of God? Taking care of you. So when we cast all our cares upon Him, Worry, we have cares, correct? Lord, this is the thing, I'm worrying. I'm so anxious. Ito sa situation ko ngayon. Will I get healed? Uh, Lord, ano ba to? Punta ako sa doktor or something like that. So when we pray about it, you know, and we don't worry about it, and we just trust God in it, just completely trust. Ang ibig sabihin ng trust eh, relying on God in everything. You know? So, parang ka merong marating, hindi kayong ngayon, okay, maniniwala ka, bukas, hindi, hindi ba? So, pagpapakumbaba yung kay God. So, ang ibig sabihin talaga, nagtitiwala ako sa iyo, Lord. Inaalis ko ang lahat ng takot. Inaalis ko yung lahat ng pangamba sa puso ko. And I cast all these cares upon you. Kaya to each one of us, we have trial and tribulation. Correct? Sabi? Pero kaya tapos siya namin na yan. Be of good cheer. Trial and tribulation, you're coming. Pero be of, be of good cheer. Oh, trial and tribulation, paano naman ako mag-good cheer? Hindi ba, ginahabol na nga ako ng prime? Ginahabol <laughs> na nga ako ng prime? Ay, sinasabi ni Jesus, I overcome the world. You just trust me. You just believe in me. Okay? You cast all your care upon me. Trusting and believing that I will be the one to take care of it. So, kaya sabi sa 1 Peter 5, 6, 7, Therefore, pull yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that He may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon Him, for He cares for you. This one is commitment. This is the prayer of commitment. Casting all your cares upon the Lord, for He cares for you. Sabi ng Bible, di ba? If we commit everything to Him, He's going to establish. Ano yung problema mo? Kinukumit mo kay God? Siya ang tatatag. Siya ang gagawa ng solusyon. So casting all your care upon Him for He cares for you. Sa Amplified, ang sabi, Therefore, humble yourself. Wow, grabe. Ano yung ibig sabihin ng humble yourself? Demote. Demote. Lower yourselves in your own estimation. Kasi maraming beses tayo yung gumagawa eh. Diba? So, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God that in due time He may exalt you. Paano yung God will exalt you? Ano yung isasagutin yung ano? Problema mo? You know, for every answered prayer, God is exalted and we are exalted because we're dead free. Right? Because we believe and we trust in Him. Sabi niya, casting the whole of your care, all anxiety, all your worries, all your concerns, once and for all on Him. For He cares for you, I like the Amplified Translation, affectionately and cares about you watchfully. Don't worry, Philippians 4, sabi niya ganyan, 6, 7, 8, hanggang ano, hanggang matapos huling-huling nito, yung 13 and I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me doon pala yun, okay naman, hindi ko alam kung nasa ko ba sabi ko sa inyo yeah. pero nung pinag-aaralan ko, yung pala yun so, the word I do not worry, yes, do not worry it's a sin, so do not worry I'm not anxious of anything but I put my trust in you everything, everything, everything sabi ko, Lord, loong nga tama, kinukumit ka sa iyo so lahat pag nasa iyo na, ayaw ko nang punin kasi sa iyo na. God is our source. The throne of grace is not trying to pray, but simply being with Him. 
It includes casting your cares to Him who cares for you. To humble yourself so you will receive grace and help in time of need. You know, the throne of grace is a place, it, it is a place to focus not on yourself or your cares, but to focus on God's love. Hallelujah. His goodness and His willingness and ability to help you. The throne of grace is all about His mercy and grace. Kaya nga, when we pray, we enter into the throne of grace. When we pray, we go boldly to the throne of grace. And to the throne of grace that we receive mercy, we receive help, we receive goodness. So, and in Christ, we can come boldly. So, you know, when we go to the throne room of the, the Bible says, you can come boldly to the throne room of grace. So when we come boldly to the throne of grace, we just give everything to God. Humble ourselves before the Lord and receive His mercy and His grace. Sometimes people want to keep their cares alive. Nina nurse mo pa yung care mo. John 5, 9, 5, sabi niya, Now a certain man was there who had infirmity 38 years ago. I love this. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he already had been in that condition a long time, sabi ni Jesus dun sa ano, sa, sa may infirmity, 38 years ha, sabi niya, do you want to be more, do you want to be made well? Sabi niya dun sa may sakit. Sabi ng may sakit, the sick man answered, Sir, I have no man to put me into the pool when the water is still up. But while I am coming, another steps down before me. So Jesus said to him, to him, Rise, take up your bed. And immediately, the man was made well. He took up his bread and walk, bed and walked. So take, taking responsibility for your own life is the first step. You guard your heart from a victim mentality. It is only through that sets us free. Yung mama dito, merong victim mentality, sick na siya. Tapos ang sabi niya, Oh, do you want to get well? Eh, wala kasing tumutulong sa akin. Kada kung dadating na yung anghel, o yung ma-steered up, nauunahan ako ng iba. Walang tumutulong, kaya hindi ako gumaling. You know? Yun yung mga ganun eh, na victim mentality. It happened to me. You know, tapos minsan tayo gusto natin yung, yung kawawa. Alam mo yung pity party? Ang Christian, ang dami pity party. Ang dami-dami natin pity party. So we speak the word. We declare the word. We are, you know, the Lord told us to admonish one another. To encourage one another. How do we admonish and to encourage one another? Alam mo, kapatid, ganyan talaga yung buhay eh. Kaya ako itong magdodaan na. No, you speak life. Di ba ganon? Di, alam mo, di lang, alam mo. Parang ganon. Pero kunyari kayo, ginaganan mo. Eh, parang yun namang, yun namang may depression. Alam mo, ngayon. Hindi ko alam kung bakit yung asabang ko ganyan. You speak life. Di ba alam ka ng kero? Nalika, let's pray tayo. Ganon agad. Pag may problem na, nalika, pray tayo. Yan. So you pray, Sora, pakarama, kitikirama. Kung di mo alam kung paano ipagpere, hindi naman kitikirama ka ta. O kaya you declare life. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you that you are working in the heart of her husband. Father, I thank you, you protect her husband from every evil man and woman of the world. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your conviction in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, thank you that you are there. We are the church. Even that you are alone or not in the church building, you are part of the church. When Jesus said that no gates of hell can stand against his church, he was also talking about you. So sabi niya, so get up from your bed. Ano yung bed? The place of defeat. Di ba? Ay, yung magbasa ng bayo, tulog na lang. So bed is the place of defeat. The bed is the place of worry, place of doubt, pride, and anything else that has weighed you down and immobilized you from progressing in life. So, sabi ni Jesus, get up and walk. Ano yun? Saan ka lalakay? Walk in the promises of God for you. Walk in the promises of God for you and in the life 
He has prepared for you. The precious blood of Christ was shed for you that you can rise up and walk in the promises of God. So do not worry. Do not be anxious of anything. You commit, once you commit, once you tell it already to God, you rise up and walk. Amen. You continue Amen. your walk, continue your journey with God. Amen. Continue to what God has given you. Even yung kanina yung sinasabi, paano ko magpo-forgive? Sabi ng Bible, you don't take offense. When offense come, don't take it. 